Hey boo, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna be creating a aloe vera hair oil, okay? So I love aloe vera and I wanted to incorporate aloe vera more into my hair routine, not only as a pre-poo, but also as a product that can stay in my hair. So what better product than an oil to seal in all the moisture? So keep on watching if you wanna see how I make aloe vera oil at home. So I have here an aloe vera leaf that I use for my DIYs, okay? I store it in the fridge whenever I need a chunk, I just cut a piece off and I washed this leaf thoroughly, okay? Because we're gonna use the whole leaf so you better make sure that all the nasty things on the leaf are removed. So I'm gonna be cutting the aloe vera leaf in cubes so I'm going to trim the ends, make sure that is removed and then I'm going to cut the aloe vera in smaller pieces. I can honestly say that aloe vera helped me with battling hair loss and promoting healthy hair, okay? So that's why I've been using aloe vera so much in my hair lately. Aloe vera has is packed with nutrients and vitamins that promote cell growth. So if you're suffering from hair loss, if you're feeling that your hair is not growing, definitely try to incorporate aloe vera in your hair routine on a consistent basis i have a ton of videos on aloe vera so definitely subscribe if you want to see more of these kind of videos okay so i just cut my aloe vera in little cubes and i am going to use two oils today i use sweet almond oil and jojoba oil because they're my favorite oils to seal in the moisture in my hair because they're so lightweight i don't like to put heavy oils in my hair to seal in moisture so i always tend to to go for those two particular oils and I put 250 milliliters of the almond oil and then 250 milliliters of the grapeseed oil in my cup but you can definitely use less okay I used a lot because I have a lot of hair and we use it in our household so that's why I needed a big batch right but if you want to use this for yourself only just put like 100 milliliters of each oil into the measuring cup um, because you don't need that much oil and you can also choose an oil to your liking you don't need to use these oils particularly you can do any oil that you like okay so i'm going to put those oils into my pot and i'm going to let that heat up with the aloe vera cubes and I'm going to let that simmer for about 20 minutes on a low heat. And by the way, there are several ways to create aloe vera oil. This is just the way that I'm doing it now. Um, the, the question that I know I'm going to get for sure is, do you need a preservative, right? And honestly, for this oil, I don't use a preservative, but definitely check out the comment section because I'm going to pin a comment there that will give you more information why I don't use a preservative for this oil. So definitely scroll down and check my comment, okay? So it's been 20 minutes and the aloe vera looks like this. It's definitely fried. It actually smells good, like it smells yummy. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not going to eat it. I'm going to strain it. So I'm using a cheesecloth and a big bowl, bowl because girl, this mixture is piping hot. So make sure you do this carefully so the oil don't splashes anywhere because the oil is really hot, okay? So here I'm just transferring the oil mixture into a beaker and I'm going to let this cool down for like 30 minutes or so. This is how my mixture looks after 30 minutes and here I'm adding some drops of rosemary essential oils because rosemary is amazing for scalp stimulation. The rosemary essential oil is also very known for promoting healthy hair growth, but you can use any essential oil that you like, you can add lavender. Ooh, that would smell good, okay? You can add peppermint or tea tree oil for scalp stimulation. You can add citrus, grapefruit. You can add anything that you like, okay? You can fully customize this formula. <laughs> so here I'm just putting the oils into my glass bottles that I use to store my hair oils. And when it's cooled down completely, completely, I'm adding the droppers to it and yeah, this is the finished result. It looks 
super super cute it's like glowing i don't know why it's glowing like that but this is how it looks in real life sis like the color is amazing it's not see-through but i don't mind okay so i'm going to put this oil to the test immediately so this is my hair freshly washed and i'm going to put a protective style in my hair i'm going to put like four braids in my hair and then later i'm going to rock my hair in this braid out and by the way this was the next day actually so this is the oil the next day and oh my gosh it smells great it smells like oil mixed with rosemary essential oils okay it doesn't have a weird smell or anything i'm going to make sure that my hair is properly moisturized for my protective style so i'm putting some jamaican black castor oil water in my hair first to refresh my hair and then i'm adding my shea moisture strengthen and restore smoothie I love this one for braids okay it moisturizes my hair so well so I'm going to put those two products first in my hair and then I'm going to seal all of the moisture in with my amazing DIY aloe vera oil I love to make this oil this way this is the method I prefer like I said it's been three weeks since I've made this oil and my oil is holding up great it smells the same it looks the same it has a nice scent and it still works on my hair so that's why I didn't feel the need to put a preservative in my oil and that's why I feel comfortable sharing this recipe with you guys because I tested it I tried it and it's amazing okay but I do store my oil in a cool dark place you can even store this in the fridge um, if you live in a hot climate I definitely advise you to store your oil in a fridge because I wouldn't feel comfortable to store this oil in a very hot heated area right so yeah that's just my advice show you how to move how to move with my body come hit me with your touch and make me wanna say damn and yeah you know what's up ain't nothing i won't do i won't do for your body so give me all you got right now So now that my hair is all braided up, I'm going to let that sit like this for a few days until my hair is completely dried. And then I'm going to unravel these braids and wear my hair as a braid out for a few days. Then have wash day again and do the same routine all over. And let me tell you, girl, my hair has been loving this routine so much. I don't know if you saw my previous hair loss update video, but... Basically, what I was saying is that aloe vera completely stopped my hair loss. I am not kidding, guys. Using aloe vera on my scalp and hair strands consistently, keywords consistently, helped me so much to grow out my hair and to battle all my scalp issues that caused me this stupid hair loss but i'm done with it now and girl it's all thanks to the aloe vera i'm so so happy i'm so happy and my hair looks really shiny and feels super shiny and soft so yeah definitely give this diy recipe a try it's so easy to make and your hair will thank you for it okay okay so thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next one bye